So before we begin, I do want to warn you guys that I had my internet cut on, on me uh, two days this week around 10.30, which is in about a half hour. So since this was going on to YouTube, I thought ahead, and I'm recording this with Streamlabs as well. So there might be a hiccup here or there because it has been behaving a little bit oddly this morning. But that way, Twitch may miss something, but YouTube won't if it cuts out again. It didn't cut out yesterday, so I'm cautiously optimistic. Well, this is going to be a blind playthrough. I have never played this game. Well, I have played this game before. I didn't get too far. I only got far enough to get my second mana egg. But my disc kept freezing, and I'm like, nah, I'm not doing this. Grab my controller. It's been, and it's even then, it's been years since I played. Ah, oh, that's so PS1. I'll tweak the volume level a little bit. Huh. It's a pretty big name. Okay, it's just quiet. Oh, it looks so crusty. I suppose anything looks better on a CRT TV, actually. Oh, hey, this reminds me of Lilligoo from the next game. I can't tell if that's just a giant silo or something. I'm just not sure we'll be seeing half of this in the actual game. Hey, look, it's a dreadnought for Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> okay, so Justin's hat's divided into eight pieces. Well, that looked impressive. Well, resolution notwithstanding. I'll keep that. I'm going to be playing around with the volume levels a little bit. Because I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. But there's some voice acting. So I'll be sure to... Take advantage of that because my throat is kind of like not -uh up today. It kind of reminds me of Grandia, too, a little bit. I was joking about Grandia too there. <laughs> and now we're in Castlevania. 
And now it's Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> Oh, now it's Legend of Dragoon. Winglies. Valmar, is that you? Now, I'm probably going to be making a lot of references to Grandia, too. Like, be prepared for that. Because that's what I'm basing my knowledge of this game on. Here we go. It's only been a half an hour since you asked last. You look tired, General Dahl. I keep telling you, Molin. When there are no soldiers around, you should call me father. Excuse me, but Lieutenant Lean is still here. <laughs> it's just like you to answer like that. But you know, that lean is a very special part of our military plans, aren't you, lean? The third excavation of the salt ruins is almost finished. I'm counting on you, too. Mullen, lean. We've assigned an elite battalion of our forces to this excavation. I'm sure that we'll hear good news. The current time is 13.40 hours. Now passing through Parm airspace. Our ETA is 15.30 hours. Lean, open the viewports for General Ball. Yes, Colonel Mullen. Yeah, the only thing I remember clearly from what little I played before is the Salt Ruins. After that, it's kind of hazy. But I, I can certainly tell you the last part I played, which is right after you get your second mana egg. That's actually fairly impressive, but kind of cheap for today's standards, I'll admit. I forgot how intricate the cutscenes were already, and I'm sure they're going to get better. Some call it Parm, I call it Lag City, because that's obvious slowdown. Well, running that smooth with that many sprites, I'm impressed, to be honest. I just wonder, when I do play Grandia Redux, if I'm able to skip all these cutscenes. If it's like Grandia 2, no. Uh, 
Oh no, it's Puffy! Is that a bag or is that part of her clothing? I think that's just a tassel or something on her clothing. And I can see the sprite hey, clipping. This will teach you, you punk. Oh. oh, Justin, not you again. You just don't learn trashing my shit again. I didn't trash it. Why won't you listen to me? I'm staking my pride as a man and my soul as an adventurer on this treasure hunt. Shut up! There's no treasure in all that junk. Now you've completely trashed it. Anyway, don't ever hunt for treasure in my shed again. You hear me, boy? <coughs> Never ever understands. Justin! Justin, Justin! You okay? That sounded like it hurt. Oh, Sue, did you see that? Don't worry. A punch like that? Nothing to it. For a first rate adventurer, it comes with the territory. Nah, nothing at all. It really was all junk. Must have guessed wrong. But Sue, what about you? Of course I found something. Ta-da! Here it is, the legendary armor. I found it all by myself. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Puppy helps too. Here you go, Justin, the legendary armor. Dirty apron. Wait, Sue, that's the first one. That leaves the shield of light, the warrior's helmet, and the spirit sword. Don't forget, we gotta get them by sundown or we'll lose. Hmm. Yuck, I don't want to marry that awful god. You know, it's really your fault, Justin. You're the one that took Gons up on his dare. You'd better Okay, I know, I know. Come on, let's go show this to Gantz. You know, oh, oh so going. Well, some of the dialogue overlapping, I want to say that's a mistake on their part when they were dubbing it, but it does kind of work so far. Do I have analog control? I do, but no auto run, which is okay. Yeah, we don't get magic for quite a while. So, Justin can use swords. Is that a club and axe? It looks like there's spell charges like in Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's probably a club. And a bow for Sue. But yeah, I like to hear the uh, first rate adventurer comment around Ryudo. <laughs> uh, let's see, did we start anything? Some moon salves, apron. Hmm. I'm saving those moon salves until I absolutely need to use them. That's for sure. Sunday best armor. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, but let's talk to him. 
If it isn't Justin, taking your sweet time, aren't you? First rate adventurer, sh uh, smencherer. The end of the world was found, and there's no use for adventurers. You're way behind the times. There is no end of the world. Huh? You don't even know that? You, a first rate adventurer? There's no way you're gonna find the four treasures before sundown. This duel is as good as one. As you promised, starting tomorrow, Susan, my gang, I, Gaunt, will take her as my bride. No way, Gaunt. We got plenty of time before sundown. Hey, Gaunt, looky here. Show us a dirty apron. Ugh, you found the legendary armor. Ha <laughs> ha, how about that? Hmm. Don't get big-headed just because you found the legendary armor. That's all you found so far. I reckon I could give this third-rate adventurer, Justin, a clue to the hidden treasures. Are you listening? I'll find out about your clues. Oh yeah, the one. then you go find the Shield of Light and the Warrior's Helmet. Unless you find those two, you'll never find the Spirit Sword. <sighs> Why don't you just give up, Justin? Then Sue will become Gaunt's bride, right? They'll live happily ever after. Stop that, Goose. I don't want to be Gaunt's bride. Oh, wait, that's the same. Dang it. I'm getting pretty sleepy. Good night. Hey, Goose, you can't be going to sleep here. You'll catch a cold. <laughs> Listen close, Justin. The four treasures are hidden around North Parm. You'll never be able to find them all before sundown. <laughs> if you don't fix that tooth soon, none of the girls will like you, Kozuru. You know, adventurers just ain't popular no more. This is the age that we of This is the age of steam, you know? You know what's popular now? Steam engineers and girl soldiers. <laughs> okay, I'm having fun with the voice acting already. Oh, it's you, Justin. You playing with Gaunt again? You guys really are good friends. Me and Gaunt? Good friends? No way! I'm having a duel with him. Oh, I see. Playing the game of duel. I did that when I was a kid. Ugh, why is it that adults don't ever listen to what I say? Alright, it's safe to say that they have some dialogue they go they only talk twice. Who's behind this? Sticking these flyers on the walls of other people's houses. Ah, uh, I know. It must have been you, Justin. Huh? It wasn't me. Look at these eyes. Are these eyes... Li are these lying eyes? No. Somehow I don't believe you. So you really didn't stick these flyers up here, Justin. And who could have done it? I think it was Gantz. Just think, the only ones who would do that are Justin and Gantz. I'm the strongest one in all of Parm. You got a problem with that? And come at me. Who's the strongest? I know, it's gotta be Gaunt. That is like Gaunt. Tee hee. Alright, now this is gonna be a little uh, difficult for me to make sure I talk to everybody. Duel of the Century! Gaunt, Defender of Justice versus Justin the Coward. The hunt for four treasures begins. What is this? It says Justin the Coward. Gaunt is in for it now. That's right. Why, it doesn't even have my name or Puffy's name either. That's pretty rude. You're totally missing the point, Sue. Alright, so I guess I'll take this one straight at a time. They say the future of our forces and the world depends on the Salt Ruins operation. At least that's what General Ball says. Anyway... But still, I never thought I'd be digging holes. Say, Justin, isn't Salt the ruins of an ancient civilization? Why is the army investigating it? Who? P.U. I keep having to dig at I gotta keep having to dig holes at the ruins all day, every day. My uniform smells so sweaty. They say the future of the world depends on these operations, so I came all the way from the new continent. No comment on his uh, smelly uniform? And Granny had two for you would have been all over that. I'm in the Young Men's Club. Can't you see that Parm's full of activity? It keeps on developing. The time for youth has come. 
That's what the Young Men's Club is a, is for. How about it? Will they join Justin? Hmm, I think I'll pass. If I joined, I couldn't go adventuring when I wanted. What's all this adventuring stuff? Isn't that behind the times? I don't want to rain on your parade, but the factories are short workers, so you can work anywhere you want. No need for adventuring, right? That's not it, big guy. My dream is to become an adventurer. Oh, wait, where's it taking me? Well, if this is North Farm, I could just come back. The port may as well stick around here. Hint? About the compass. The compass at the top right of the screen has a red mark showing north. The compass needle points to the destination. Spinning faster, the closer you get to the destination. You can press the L2 R2 button to change the destination setting. Changing the destination setting makes the compass needle point to another entrance or exit of the dungeon. Remember that you cannot change the destination in town. He's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, you kids. Passengers only beyond this point. Come on, go home. Aw, oh, come on. I just want to look for something. Can I come in for a little bit? I guess we can. Egad, that Gantz. What could he be thinking? Why did he put that pot lid over there? Gantz, you say? What could a pot lid mean? Could this pot lid be the shield of light? Hey, you know what? It does look like a shield. Come on, let's pick it up. Pot lid acquired. You know, in the Dragon Warrior series, they actually are kind of a good shield early on. I am a foundering ship. I love you, mumble mumble. Why are you wandering around here? Did you lose something? I was just thinking of a line to set my girl's heart on fire. I'm finally going to propose to her. Oh no, he's dead by the end of the game, I'm sure. I'm going to win her heart on a romantic night at the harbor. I have been a foundering ship, but I have finally found a port in my for my heart in you. Please be the port for my heart. Poof, poof, poof. What is it, Puffy? You smell cheese? <laughs> Alright, uh, give me a quick second. It seems like the Zero Tech I took is not working as well as I had like it to be. My apologies. But yeah, that... Or maybe I'm actually getting sick. I mean, that's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Ah, I love the sea. Horizon as far as you can see. Uninterrupted white caps. When I look at the sea, I feel refreshed as if it washes my body and soul. But its back is covered with seagull droppings. Ew. <laughs> Ew, you're right. Yes, I do love the sea. It has a fragrant smell that permeates my soul. I'm so happy. Might that smell be... Could be that of the seagull droppings on your back. I like Sue already. Justin, looking at the sea today? Be careful of the handrails. They're old and fragile. Then replace them? Hey, I know all about them. Huh? How do you know about that? Haha, <laughs> you must have been the one who broke the handrail. Oh, rats, busted again. I just climbed onto the handrail to try to see the new world and snap. Wah ha ha you naughty boy. Aw, oh, but don't worry about it. Water under the bridge. Well, take a look at this. There's no fog today, so the view of the port from here is sure special. Wow, you're right. The view is way different from somewhere high up. Ha 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 Take a look from the place that sticks out like you always do. The handrail is already fixed. Oh, that was... Oh. Ah, dang it. I skipped the dialogue. 
Justin jumping on the handrail again. It's gonna break again. I'm not doing anything. Don't worry, let's look, Sue. What are we looking at? Alright. Alright, so don't skip the text like like in Grandio 2, if it if it looks the same, it may not necessarily be the same. I just wish I didn't have to go through all these. I, I'm, I've been spoiled by Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. I'm not used to load times. Alright, is he, did I miss his dialogue? Hi, Justin. I don't mind you looking at the sea, but be careful of the handrails. I understand. I'll jump on the handrail more quietly this time. You don't understand at all. You can come here anytime you want to look at the sea. You can see both the sea and the port. Go to the place that sticks out there. Alright. So that's everything here, I think. Yeah, just double checking. So this is a steampunky game, it looks like. If it is the age of steam, as the one guy says. Don't see too much of that, really. Alright, um... Let's see what he says about the... Don't waste your breath, Justin. Just give up on finding the four treasures. <laughs> Look at this before you say that, Gaunt, eh? Show us pot lid. Ugh, you found the shield of light, too. The two remaining hidden treasures are the warrior's helmet and the spirit sword. Find the helmet first. The warrior's helmet. It's in a place where you always hear the sound of running water. The sound of running water. Oh, he gave me the hint automatically. Now I'll never get the bonus for a perfect score. Ah, nothing to do. There's nothing more boring than when you get found in hide and seek. I gotta keep standing here till she finds everyone. Anyway, what you doing, Justin? Glad you asked. I'm having a duel with Gaunts. Wow, a duel with Gaunts? Good luck, Justin. I'm rooting for you. That's right, Justin. Good luck. There's no way I'm going to become Gaunt's bride. Ew. Something tells me he doesn't brush his teeth. That's the impression I'm getting, at least. I've been seeking for so long, and I still haven't found anybody. Being it in hide-and-seek is tough. That's right. Pippi, you're so gentle-natured, so maybe you're not cut out to be it. In hide and seek, if I keep looking, eventually I'll find everybody, right? That's right. Pippi, don't give up. I'm just going to take this one street at a time. Hey, let's trash that dude's shed again. <laughs> Hey, Justin, did you hear? A crazy inventor in South Parm has invented something else again. That inventor won't stop. But it sounds interesting. Maybe I should go see him. You're about the only one who goes to visit that crazy inventor guy. Everyone in town seems to think that guy is an odd one, but you seem to be friends with him. Well, that's his place. Well, that his place is filled with weird machines is a real neat pla Let me try that again. Well, that is places filled with mach with weird machines. It's a real neat place. That's an awkward sentence. Oh. Oh, just like Granny O2, you interact with some stuff for some wobbly. That husband of mine must be wandering around somewhere. He pilfered money from my purse and must be gambling somewhere again. But ma'am, why are you so angry? 
I just can't help it. My husband lost his job and goes gambling every day. Listen, Justin, if you see my husband, come tell me right away. Uh, okay, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> that man has a problem, too. But, yep. Wobbly. But, uh... Aren't the factories open, or is that supposed to be child labor? That's Gantz's house. Alright, I gotta make sure I didn't miss any doors. Now, is this door, is this bridge just blocked off, or is it, like, blocked off, blocked off? I just gotta go over it from the back. So yeah, let's invade his home. Well, if it isn't Justin, won't you play with my little Gantz? Gantz and the others are down at the bridge by the factory. Right now, we're in the middle of a duel to hunt for the four hidden treasures. Well, well, I'm glad you never get tired of playing every day, but don't make trouble for anyone. I remember Gantz getting spanked by his mom with this mop. Hee <laughs> hee. Justin, didn't get whacked by Aunt Lily with the tray? You two still behave like children. Here's Gantz's treasure chest. He put a lock on it, so there must be something important inside. You're a JRPG protagonist. Shouldn't you be able to just loot whatever? Eh, oh well. It's actually going to be really tough to know which doors I can even go in. Especially because you don't get a lot of, uh... Whoop. Yeah, let's go in house two next. You don't get a lot of notice that you're entering something. Rather, they all look kind of the same. Oh, hello, Justin. Can you guess why I'm so happy today? Well, if it were Aunt Lily, then her special dish came out perfect. That's right, if a new dish comes out, well, Mom gives me extra allowance. Hehe, <laughs> not quite. My sailor husband is coming back from the new continent soon. It's been more than six months since my husband left on a voyage, but it's felt much longer than that. Now I'm doing my best to make his favorite dinner. A first-rate lady should be able to play an instrument like this as a sign of good breeding. Don't give me that. It's much more important to polish my swordsmanship. When a monster comes out of you, this thing won't be any use at all. If you're not an adventurer, that's not a worry. Of course, swordsmanship is more important. Don't you think so, Puffy? Poof poof? I don't know why. I don't know why that cracks me up. Did my mom tell you? My daddy's going to be coming back on the ship pretty soon. He bought us a lot of gifts and is coming back from a place called New Parm. Wow, gifts from the new continent of Valencia. Maybe he'll give me something too. Justin, don't be so rude. But I guess I wish I could have something for the new continent too. Well, daddy gets home, we're going to play tag and hide and seek. And then, and then... <laughs> Poor dad. <laughs> that sounds about right. Dear Clara, Mom and Dad have gone to a party again today. So me and my kitty chummy are house-sitting on the rose-scented balcony. Excitement fills the night air. What are you doing, sir? Uh, 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 what? Whew, it's just you, Justin. I'm running a letter. A letter! A letter? It sounds like a letter to a little girl. Actually, Clara is a girl my son got to know while he was living in New Parm. She is sickly and hardly ever gets out of the house. She seems she seems she so, seems she heart has hardly any friends. The poor girl. I ought to write her a letter too. That reminds me, Justin, you're always saying you want to go on an adventure. 
If you have a chance to go to New Parn, please take this letter to Clara. Sure, I'll make sure she gets it. Justin, if you forget, you won't be forgiven. Letter to Clara acquired. My dear Clara is quite a pretty girl. My son said so in a letter. Now, Justin, when you give her the letter, tell her it's from Franc Francoy? Francoy? I think that's how you pronounce that. Francoy. Wait. Is that not a different spelling? I'm going to say the right, first one was right, unless I see otherwise. Francoy, is that you? My dear Clara is a beautiful 18-year-old girl living in New Parn. That's what it said in the letter. Now, sir, might you have some ulterior motive? If so, I'll never forgive you. It's kind of scary she's saying that with such a sweet expression on her face. I'm just saying. Don't be ridiculous. How rude. I have no ulterior motive. Anyway, all you have to do is deliver this letter. There is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a little ulterior motive either. <laughs> oh boy. I think that's everything here. So I missed out on a side quest on my initial little five hours of game I think I did when I played this a few years back. I And I missed a lot of this dialogue, so... No soliciting. This way to the cafe. Sounds like a friendly place. This is going to be really difficult to make sure I get everyone. House 5. Okay, we already have more houses than Grandia 2. We're playing hide and seek. Say, Justin, are you playing hide and seek with Gantz 2? Excuse me. Huh? Why do you say that? I'm having a duel with Gantz. We're not playing hide and seek. That's so? Well, then why did Gantz climb down into the canal? He's sneaking around doing something. I thought it was hide and seek. Oh boy. Say, Justin, you think this pot could be the warrior's helmet? Yeah, I think you're right. This must be the warrior's helmet. <laughs> Just you wait, Gantz. Battered pot. It's not even a good pot. Well, if it's battered, you know it's done its job. Once. I gotta find a good hiding place. Gotta do it quick or Pippi will find me. The canal? I think that's a pretty good hiding spot. Alright, I still gotta talk with everyone before I move on. Oh, it's you two. Justin and Little Sue. Come to hear a story today? Sorry, Graham. No time for that now. I'll be back as soon as I settle things with Gaunts. Hang on till then. Settle things with Gaunts? Justin, did you get into a fight again? No, Graham, not a fight. This is a man-to-man -man duel. How about you? Well, glad to see you two. Full of energy as always. <laughs> but Justin is just too full of energy. He just got scolded. Well, yeah, I guess I did. But I did it to beat Gaunts. Ho-ho, a scolding, eh? Yep. Kid's gonna be like that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Is he an owl? That's right. Stuff like that doesn't bother me. When do, when do we get to knock something over? Like that one sword in Grandia 2 that I swear is like inches away from taking off Ryudo's face. Okay, inches is maybe a little generous, but still. He <laughs> found you. Ah, you found me. Wait a minute. When did you become it, Sue? <laughs> tricked you, tricked you. Mm, don't scare me like that. Now I gotta find another hiding place. Grumble, 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 grumble. Hmm, where shall I hide now? This time they'll never find me. Oh, 
All right, so I guess we're playing hide and seek with this kid then. Were you there before? Say, Justin, I heard you're playing a treasure hunt game with Gons. You're not gonna lose out the Gons, are you, Justin? Of course, I'll win easy. I thought so, Justin. Down away. If Gantz wins, only Tents and Kozuru are going to be happy for him. Everyone's on your side, Justin. I think I can win. Good luck, Justin. I know everyone's rooting for you, Justin. Justin, if you lose, that Gantz is going to brag even more than now. That Gantz is no problem. Just like you, Justin. You're so confident. That's what I like about you. <laughs> if you're all counting on me, I just gotta win. Alright, so I was already there. Did I talked to you. Yeah, I did. House four. That was house two. Hey, 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 don't come near. You're gonna get soot on my clothes. The town is filled with sooty kids. Come on, but the factories, it can't be helped. Sir, aren't you enjoying the conveniences from the factories? Um, but, but if it weren't for the Joel Foundation, then all the factories would be closed, right? But if there were no factories, the Joel Foundation would go bankrupt, right? Hmm, you've got a point. You got me, little miss. Both the Joel Foundation and the factories are important. As long as you know that, sir. Good luck on your Jewel Foundation work. I'm guessing that's the way out of town. Ah, it's too peaceful here. The Gorlal forces can't be much of a can't be much use sitting around the, the town of Parm. Excavating runes isn't work for a soldier. Soldiers are pretty useless now. Should have become an engineer. I heard there's a few places on the new continent of Valencia where the Guard all forces can be useful. Ah, nothing to do here. I hear that the guys on the new continent or uh, a new continent duty are so busy their heads spin. Mom says that soldiers having nothing to do is a good thing. Ah, uh, no quip. Oh no, I'm busted. It's Justin. Oh, there's a lag. Wasn't that Tense who just ran away? Too bad he's Gantz's little brother, otherwise he's pretty cute. You think so? I guess he is a lot better than Gantz. Oh, if it isn't you, Justin, you must be playing all day. This is the age of learning. You must study diligently or be left behind the advance of science. I think they're missing a couple of words there. You're just always playing around. Yeah, I can't stand this guy. I don't like studying either. Bye-bye. Hey, young man, listen to me. Excellent, Justin. So you decided to listen to what I'm saying? No, no, not at all. Bye-bye. Oh, man. That is so mean. Oh, there we go. Huh? The sign says something, but the letters are so small. Um, what does it say? You can read, right, Justin? If you are feeling nauseous, please come this way. Ew, yuck, what's this smell? Could it be? Could it be what? On second thought, let's, let's not find out. Good coffee and beautiful woman. Yes, this must be what they mean by truthful advertising. It's true that Miss Curlian is beautiful, but Justin, you haven't even tasted the coffee. Undergr underground cafe. Oh, no. Hmm. It's closed. Say, Justin, why do you think Miss Curlian's place is always closed? It says right here, open only at night. You don't have to read me. Re you don't have to read to me. Even I can read that. I'm not a kid anymore. Hmm, so this says, open only at night, right here. Now I know. Oh, no. 
Oh, refer referring to that now she knows that it, uh, it's only open at night. Okay. Considering it seems to be in a back alley, it's probably not the most uh, reputable establishment. Is that in House 3 yet? When I first played this part of the game, I really got lost here easily. But I think I got my bearings a lot better. Oh, Justin, have you come to listen to Gramps' stories again? I'm amazed you don't get sick of hearing the same stories over and over. Even if he hears it over and over, Justin still forgets it. See he? Gramps' fairy tales always end with the hero living happily ever after. But nobody wants to hear those stories with a happy ending anymore. Is that right? I love stories of hap with a happy ending. When I was a kid, I used to wonder if I... I wonder if I used to listen to Gramps' stories with stars in my eyes. All kids love fairy tales. I love Gramps' stories, too. You know, what I like so far about Sue's character is that she's so obviously kind of more mature than her age would kind of, uh, lead you to believe, but she's still, like, not so above it after all. Glad to see you, Justin. I know why you're here. You want to hear fairy tales, right? Well, which one do you want to hear today? Oh. Hmm. How about the one where I drink from a decanter of endless water? <laughs> Tell me the happy adventurer. Once upon a time, there was an adventurer who traveled the world and picked up lots of treasure. But this kind-hearted man gave all his treasure to the poor. Everyone said he was a fool, but to this man, the only true treasure was the adventure itself. The man continued his adventures and lived a happy life ever after. The end. Uh, the Prince and the Princess. Once upon a time, an evil wizard cast a spell upon a prince and turned him to stone. The prince's fiance, the princess of the next kingdom, became so sad that she cried from dawn to dusk. But oddly enough, the tears of the princess fell on the prince and broke the spell. The evil wizard was cast out of the kingdom, and the prince and princess lived happily ever after. Such a romantic story, I'd like to fall in love with a handsome prince. Foreshadowing, maybe? Enough for today, get some rest. Enough for today, Gramps. Get your rest and live a long time, okay? Justin, stop signing death flags! <laughs> Although, let's be fair here, anything, anything could be a death flag. 